Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you the basics of 3D programming in Blender using the programming language Python. You're not only going to learn how to code, but also how to come up with your own code. And at the end, we will also render out the result. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And before we begin, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8, which you can find in the description. Okay, so let's start off by clicking X to delete the default cube. And then let's open a new window and under scripting you will find the text editor. So select the text editor and then click new to create a new script. And let's start off by writing in import bpy, which is a blender module for Python. So import bpy. And then let's enable colors and uh, line numbers as well. Now let's try adding an object to the viewport. So click bpy dot ops dot mesh dot primitive and then let's go to add and mesh and then select an object let's uh, say the monkey so type in monkey and then specify the location so location equals zero 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 on the x y and z axis and then run script and as you can see we have the monkey at the location zero 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 in order to make the script a little bit more interesting, let's add variables to the location, so x, y, and uh, set. And then let's add randomness as well. So uh, type in from random import randint. And by using randint, we can get random locations for the objects we add, which is very useful when adding multiple objects. And then number equals 600, which is the amount of objects we will add to the scene. And then add a for loop, which repeats a block of code at a specified amount of times, which in this case is uh, 600, since we uh, set the number variable to 600 and we use the number variable in the for loop. And then x equals rand int, and then the range between minus 30 and 30, which means that the object will be added at the x axis at random locations between minus 30 and 30 and then the same for the y-axis so y equals rand int between uh, minus 30 and uh, 30 and then we do the same for the uh, set axis as well so uh, set equals rand int between minus 30 and uh, 30 and then we need to move the monkey adding a line of code under the for loop. So uh, let's uh, go down to line 14 and then use backspace until it's behind the set axis and then click enter to move it under the set rand int uh, line of code. And click X to delete the monkey. And then let's try running the script. So click run script. And after a few seconds of running the code, you can see that we have 600 monkeys added to random locations between minus 30 and 30 on the x, y, and z axis. So let's try some different values. So click A, then X to delete them all. And uh, let's change the uh, x value to uh, minus 10. Let's do the same for the y value and the z value. And let's change the end values as well. So let's set it to uh, 20 and 10 for the y-axis and let's change the primitive to uh, let's say a cube and then click run script to run the script once again and once the script is done running you can see that we have 600 cubes added to somewhat different locations than the last time and uh, let's change the number let's say to 10 and uh, then let's change the locations to a smaller range, so let's say minus 3 to 3 and then 5 and 5 and then minus 2 and 2 and we can change the primitive once again so uh, let's change it to a uh, cone and then uh, we need to delete them also click A and then X to delete all of the objects and then run script and as you can see we now have 10 cones added to the viewport. Okay so now you know the basics of adding objects in Blender using Python code 
and now I'm going to show you how you can use the info window in Blender to come up with your own code. So uh, let's go under scripting and then select info. And before we use the info window, I'm just going to change up the script a bit. So let's add 500 monkeys in the range of, uh, let's say, a minus 10 and 10 on the x-axis and then minus 10 and uh, 10 on the y-axis and then minus 4 and 4 on the z-axis. Let's change the object to a monkey and then run the script. And as you can see, we now have 500 monkeys but uh, let's say you want to add a uh, subdivision surface modifier to all of the objects once they are added to the scene so that they have more vertices and look better. So let's add a modifier to one of the monkeys. So let's select a monkey, add a modifier, and add a subdivision surface modifier. And by adding additional subdivisions to the subdivision surface modifier, both for the viewport and the render, we get more vertices, which means that the object looks a lot better, especially when it's a monkey. So, uh, as you can see to the right, we uh, got the uh, code for adding the subdivision surface modifier in the uh, info window. So now we can use that to improve our scripts. So uh, let's start off with the uh, top line for adding the subdivision surface modifier. So click bby.ops.object.modifier underscore add type subsurf. And then the next line is the context.object modifiers then subdivision and then render levels equals three because we want uh, three levels of subdivisions for the render and then let's add three levels of subdivisions to the uh, viewport as well and I click A then X to delete the monkeys of the previous script and then click run scripts and this one is probably going to be really heavy for the computer because there's so many verses but as you can see we now have all of the uh, monkeys added with the proper amount of subdivisions. Now before we continue with the tutorial let's just create a save. So go to file and then save as. And then you can save the file wherever you want on the computer and then give the file a name and I click enter to save. Now if Blender is getting a little bit slow because of the 15 million vertices you can also change the levels of subdivisions to 1 and then 2 for the render and then instead add some smooth shading. So uh, right click to select the monkey and I click object and then shade smooth and then you can use that line of code in our script so uh, bby.ops.object.shade underscore smooth and then two parentheses and uh, let's click A and then X and then let's add those two lines of code as well so that uh, every time we run a script the previous script will automatically be deleted from the viewport. So bby.obs.object.select underscore all and then action select and then bpy.obs.object.delete and then use global equals false. So uh, now when we run the script, let's just add an object so that you can see what happens. So just add and then mesh and then let's add a cube as to scale and then let's run the scripts and as you can see the cube is deleted and now we have the new scripts so by using the info window and python scripts you can actually automate a lot of things in blender which is really useful so uh, i think i'm going to uh, change the script a bit before we start adding materials and render the scene so let's change the number to a thousand and let's uh, increase the uh, range on the x and y axis to let's say minus 20 and 20 and then minus 2 and 2 for the z axis and then let's create a second save so just click on the plus sign and then click save as blend file to create a new file and uh, then let's run the script and as you can see the previous monkeys are deleted automatically and uh, now it's finally time to get into the uh, camera settings, the materials, and the render. So let's start off by decreasing the uh, size of the script window. And then go to add. And then add a camera. And I click numpad 0 to look through the camera. And I click N. And then lock camera to view. 
and while the camera is locked to view you use the uh, middle mouse wheel to move backwards and then the uh, middle mouse button to look around so uh, let's set it to uh, like around here and then you need to uh, disable lock camera to view so that we can do other things in blender and then let's add a light source so click add and then go to light and then add a sun and then click G to grab the sun and R to rotate the sun and then let's go into the render settings and change to cycles because it looks a little bit better and then if you have a GPU make sure to use it if not just keep using the CPU and when it comes to the amount of samples for the render and the viewport I would set it to 150 to improve the uh, render quality and uh, let's see what it looks like in rendered view so far so um, as you can see it's still quite dark and we don't have any materials for the monkey but let's uh, change the background color to be almost completely white and then select one of the monkeys right click to select and then go into the materials new material and then let's change it from a principal material to a diffuse material which is the uh, standard for just adding a simple color and let's uh, add a uh, blue color and then we need to copy that material to the rest of the monkeys so uh, click A to select everything and then we need to deselect the light and the camera so hold in shift and then uh, double click on the uh, sun and then hold in shift once again and double click on the camera to deselect it and then hold in shift and select the uh, blue monkey and then go up to object and then to make links and then materials and after a few seconds you can see that every monkey has the same material and uh, let's click nub at zero to look through the camera and uh, let's also hide the overlay which uh, displays the origin points of the objects and so on so uh, if you want to move the camera even more you can also uh, lock the camera to view once again and move the camera if not you can just leave it at the same location and rotation so I'm just going to move it around here and now it's finally time to get into the render settings so uh, click render and then change the display mode to the image editor and then we're going to render the image so uh, click render and then render image and after a few minutes of rendering you will have the finished image rendered and if you want to save the image you just rendered you can just go up to uh, image and then click save as and then give the image a name and then click enter to save and uh, that's it thank you guys for watching and subscribe